TLO, what's poppin'? We are on kickkick.com. We are not live. Uh, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Uh, right above me. If we do go live and you happen to miss it, this is where any highlights and things of that nature will be. Uh, good news, though, guys. I got confirmed. I got confirmation from my realtor. Um, we did get approved for the apartment. I move in the 12th. That's in four days. So the lives will be coming. They're back. And it's a lot closer to my daughter's job. I mean, work. So I'll drop her off, come back home, be on live, then go get her. Simple. <laughs> We're back. Um, I don't know, man. I might go back to Twitch, too. Huh? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. But anyway, uh, don't forget we do got Patreon. This is everything that's been published for the week. This is what a week on Patreon looks like, man. Afterlife, Fresh Meat, Only Fools, Line of Duty, Sherlock. Sherlock, this was the season four finale, is getting replaced with um, Top Boy. I'm actually watching Top Boy after I watch this, and I'm going to post it tomorrow for Saturday. I can't wait. <laughs> so, y'all, don't forget we do got good merch. Appreciate everybody who participated. And let's get into this, man. You know what you're here for. Police Interceptor, season 22, episode four. Let's go. Shout out to uh, Dripped. If you want to, I think it's pain to stop, pain to stop. It's just gone wrong side round the roundabout. I can't do it. It's uh, too much traffic. A high performance car is giving local cops the runaround. About three or four up, the young males. But it's numbers up. Enter the interceptors. Mad Let's dramatic. Next left. I ain't seen an up to date episode in a little minute. Okay. Sergeant Jim Carrington and Lisa DeSantis are en route on the hurry up. We literally just tipped out from headquarters because a local unit picked up a red hard for reasons unknown to us has failed to stop on a couple of A roads up here north of the county. It was at high speed, obviously it's a high performance car. It's been followed by a local policing unit. I think they've lost the battle really. If so, we're all tipped out, served the road crime units. We're all tactical pursuit compliant, getting ourselves in the right place to see if we can pick it up. As Lisa races to intercept, the runaway is picked up by another unit. But its driver ups the ante. It's just rammed me. It's just rammed her. Ramming a cop cars put the fail to stop to the top of Knott's most wanted list. And I ain't even gonna lie, you ram that cop car. They're going to charge you for so many things. In America, you ram a cop car on purpose, you might get 20 years. <laughs> Five miles ahead of Lisa and Jim. The traffic unit has managed to catch up with the suspect on a rural road. And it doesn't look like he's heading out for a quiet country drive. The runaway misses an oncoming car by millimetres. Right, right, right. That's the rear one, right? The suspect vehicle has some serious horsepower and the driver hits the gas. But the cops hang on as they approach a roundabout at almost a ton. It's not long before the suspect's aggressive driving puts an innocent motorist in serious danger. What are you driving? Is that an Audi? That gotta be an Audi or something. The suspect motor smashes into the white car, forcing it off the road. The lead cop. Not gonna lie, I was not expecting that. Um, at what point? And I just heard the, doc, the, the him say medium risk. This high risk. 
That's a light pole. The car has to abandon the pursuit to check for injuries. But waiting up ahead in an unmarked Volvo S60 is interceptor Gav Hall. Incoming at three o'clock. Radio 66, we're pursuit. We are travelling towards the city of the 614. 155 mile per hour motor would be a handful for the most experienced driver, but the guy at the wheel is believed to be a teenager. Uh, making several overtakes. Speed is currently 9050. Yeah, teenager. That means he really has no care about what's going on. I'm not saying that because he's in, like a, a teenager and being ageist or anything. I'm saying that because obviously, look at him. He going a hundred and he going a hundred hundred fifty and a fifty. Then ram somebody off the road, ram police officer. One wrong move, and it's curtains. Interceptor units across the county are honing in, using their vast road experience to best guess its escape route. Zulu 2, we're going to try and get down to Red Hill RA for a stinger. We're in Ravenshead. Just gone into Red Hill Island, mate. It's going south. While cops try to get ahead of him, back at the sharp end, Gav's on the land like a shadow. Uh, overtaking several vehicles now. And he's now got back up behind. Second team, that unit moved in. Approach to the main junction. It's four up. Four in the car, and they're all believed to be youngsters. Not gonna lie, that's even worse. If it's just him in the car, cool. But now you got four other, three other lives that you put in danger. You know what I'm saying? All right. And then in his mind, probably, oh man, I'm trying to show out. Watch this. Or they could be in the back navigating. Bruh, bruh, turn right, turn right. <laughs> you know how that go with the police chases. Somebody's controlling, somebody's navigating, somebody's driving, somebody's controlling the radio, and somebody got the Snapchat going. Especially in the UK. The teenage driver's not only risking his own life, but his passengers as well. Is that a Mustang? Since when y'all got Mustang? I don't know. I thought y'all didn't have Mustangs out there. And the risks are rising. We are still heading towards the city. They're heading straight for built-up areas and running out of time to get the runaway stopped on safe roads. Can we get the tactical contact authorised, please? Tactical contact is only authorised in extreme situations. But a fail to stop teenager in a rapid car is seen as exceptional circumstances. True. Well, they're going towards the city. If it goes any closer, suitable location, map, taxi contact, it's at low speed. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Low speed authority is all well and good. Ain't no low speed. But the driver's showing no signs of slowing down for a nudge. We're approaching the traveller's rest to the near side. Whatever the lad's done, he's desperate to avoid a face-to-face -face with the interceptors. Making several erratic takes it's still medium risk. But it will take more than a few dodgy overtakes to shake Gav. The pursuit's now almost ten minutes old, and it's rush hour. Uh, at the moment. However, even the busy roads aren't slowing this boy racer down. Going down the centre of the carriageway. And he's now at motorway speeds in a 30. We're approaching heavy traffic. If he slows enough, the interceptors can use tactical contact. From offside, down the carriageway, now going down the centre of the carriageway. 
but will they stop him before he YouTube trust me I do not condone this but I am fully entertained I ain't even gonna hold you bro is in here like Fast and the Furious this is what Fast and Furious created they got 12 13 15 movies you know what I'm saying and this is what it is he reaches Nottingham city center he's gonna kill Scott. He didn't took them into a commercial break. He didn't put them on the race so bad. The interceptors are after a high performance car that's rammed a local cop and failed to stop. Speed is currently 9 0 in the driver's believed to be a teenager and is leaving a trail of carnage in his wake. It's believed to be a te teenager and is leaving a trail of carnage in his wake. To Nine zero five zero. The driver's believed to be a teenager and is leaving a trail of carnage in his wake. <laughs> yeah, now I gotta give my little thumbnail. This is the best one. Wake. driving like an absolute idiot they've got authority for a tactical somebody's calling me i think my daughter's school contact yeah, i need y'all not to worry about that i'm gonna edit that out best editor on youtube one of my headphones went out i think that only at low speeds is that me and despite the busy roads the lad shows no signs of slowing from offside the carriage way now going on the center of the carriage way is that the Jim. video or is that me i'm at 931 hold on look like he's heading out Oh, that's me. Oh wait. So I'm offside. About the carriage way. Now going on the center of the carriage way. Jim and other interceptor units trying to get ahead. But with every mile, it gets busier and riskier. This continues straight on towards the city. If the runaway reaches the city center, they may have to abort the pursuit. Oh, yeah, one headphone? Offside, ground two, keep left followers. A near miss with white van man. But an oncoming red Citroen doesn't get off so lightly. It's crash, it's flight contact to an uh, oncoming vehicle, stand by. It's a whisker away from a very messy head on. Yeah, head on at this speed is catastrophic. <gasps> the impact seems to have slowed him down and the interceptors spot their chance. Somebody knee gotta hurt. The second pursuit car speeds in front. While Gav makes tactical contact. Game over. He immediately grabbed his arm and tried to break it. Ugh. Give me this. I'm from the... <laughs> oh, my bad. Driver and passengers are given a helping hand from the car. Vehicle stop. Occupants decay. No injuries, no injuries. Minor damage. It's a successful end to a high-risk situation. The young driver's off to the cop car as Jim and Lisa arrive on scene. Close, but no cigar, Lisa. Good to be one on the back of that. It was coming down, mate. We'd have popped out on the back of his lane for the stinger. 
the teenage driver isn't even old enough to hold a license. Oh, he a teen teen. He's been like involved 15? in a fair share of pursuits, but baby drivers left him shocked. I suppose when you get to the end of a pursuit like that, which was inherently dangerous in, in parts, I suppose you expect to see a really hardened criminal inside this car with the risk they're taking and the standards of driving they're displaying. And in this situation, what we find is a young lad who's been sick when he's been stopped by the police. His adrenaline would have been through the roof. It's fair to say Gav, who was in the lead car for most of the pursuit, isn't impressed. He's taken a, a really sort of high-performance vehicle that maybe he's, he's not driven before. He doesn't seem that familiar with it. The manner of his driving, he nearly lost control of it a few times, suggests he shouldn't be driving it. He's not capable of driving it. And uh, he's willing to... I ain't going to lie, that Mustang, that 5.0 would get away from you in the back end. That real-world drive, it hit different to take risks in it and unfortunately if he wants to risk his own life that's one thing but he's also putting the public at risk as well jim tries to get to the bottom of what's gone on what about the police officer you crashed into then an old man as well apparently on that round and what about the cop you ran into to try and escape oh at the bottom of the lane yeah what about that well, no. So you didn't care about injuring police officers then? I did, but in the moment, you just want to go, don't you? You, should, you think you're not going to get nicked? You, know, you, you think right? you're not going to get nicked? Yes. Look, with all due respect, mate, how stupid are you? Jim's not mincing his words, as it's a near miracle no one's been seriously injured. Mate, you're ramming cops, you're putting members of the public's lives at risk, start thinking about your behaviour. It's going to jail. Have a little think Goodbye. about it, yeah? No wonder you're throwing off. I'm just a bit shocked, to be fair. <laughs> and he's laughing. He's laughing. Chuckles didn't find it quite so funny when the courts found him guilty of dangerous Everything. driving, taking without consent, failure to stop, and drop. Oh, Mama, he gotta be at a young offender in some prison somewhere. Driving without a valid license or insurance. You're gonna tell us? Baby driver was banned for three years and got a detention and training order for eight months. Detention and training. What is that? In all the years I've been engaged in pursuits and dealing with criminals that are hell-bent on escaping, this one will probably stick in my memory for a fair bit because it's one of those really surprising ones where you see a young teenage lad taking ridiculous risks. Unbelievable, really. He ain't even getting no time. That's crazy. That's Not that's Bro, that's only his first offense, low key. Scepters police a population of around one. Too much Gran Turismo GTA. 1.1 million. But when criminals from other counties venture in, they're more than happy to bang them up as well. One increasingly used tool in their armory is the automatic number plate recognition system. We've got a countrywide AMPR system that we can log into because they will travel to commit crime. They know that the local cops in their area are going to be read out on where they're going, what they're doing. So they will travel across the border, like, for example, Leicestershire, Derbyshire. We border for forces. It's very easy for them to drop over onto us. So the cameras really do give us like the heads up on where they're heading. It will show us patterns, behaviours and it will give us a bit of an insight into the way they're moving around the country. Can I just make you aware of a vehicle that we're keeping an eye out for today? Knife crime team members Sergeant Johnny Groves and Chantel McDowell have their eyes peeled for a white Renault Kangoo. We saw it yesterday what? at the back of a disqualified driver's house, but hanging around it was a different nominal. He's wanted for burglary for a dwelling on Derbyshire, and we saw him stood in front of that van. Believed to be just out of prison on licence, the suspect should be keeping his head down, not driving a dodgy van with false plates. Up until four or five days ago, it was hitting all the city cameras and then now started hitting Ashfield cameras. The vehicles left a trail of breadcrumbs for the cops and they're hungry for this bloke's collar. Ooh, nice little Porsche. Eyes down for ANPR bingo. Yeah, part way, is it? My bad, I'm trying to make my camera. Oh, it's just hit, so he's bound. Bingo. 
Vans pinged a camera downtown. I can't believe she got a whole telephone in the whip. And he need to work on his posture. This ex-nursery nurse once sent the dog unit after a mannequin. She mistook for a burglar. <laughs> ah, you need to get back in the nursery. That mannequin had lost an arm, probably a leg. His whole head gone popped off. Like, that's tough. The interceptor may have failed to recognize a dummy in the dark, but there's nothing wrong with her eyesight today. Chantel's clocked the Renault on the opposite side of the carriageway. An age just gone off side to off side with it, it's stuck in traffic. We've um, not made it obvious, so we'll spin round to try and get a follow up. That telephone killing me. They're in a marked car and don't want to spook the suspect, who has previous for failing to stop and ramming cop cars. One occupant, part of his jacket. The tactics are to get enough units in place before making their move. Johnny pulls a Yui and lets the X5 off the lead. We can't see it in the minute, we've spun around trying to catch up with it. The driver may have made them and taken off. Why is it only in 360p? Can we get 1080? But he's soon back in their crosshairs. And H is at the Cotsmoor Road Junction. Stop the red lights. It looks like it's going to be a right right. Where are you, Matt? On route a few miles away. Just passing uh, KMH. Hey, Chairman Advanced Driver, T Pack Stinger in a plane vehicle. Uh, where do you want me, Chantel? Our fellow members of the Knife Crime team, Matt Stora and Paul Kingo Kingston. Uh, yeah, join us. We're on. Plane vehicle. Uh, where do you want me, Chantel? Oh. Our fellow members of the Knife Crime team, Matt Stora and Paul Kingo Kingston. Uh, yeah, join us. We're on Cotswold Road. The team is closing in. I got other headphones, but they're all the way... I want... I got my iPhone headphones. I don't know where they are. I'm just going to use them. Back with Chantel and Johnny. We can have a rear tour stop on it when we've got sufficient resources to do that. The bloke's chances of getting away are decreasing by the second. Is it messing up y'all speakers as well, or is it Matt just only doing it to mine? I hope it's only doing it to mine. Arrive and take the lead. Matt, we'll wait for the other car, mate. Yeah, thanks for all. Sorry, behind us. Um, we'll wait for another car to box this uh, van. They're a cop car short of a tactical box until a firearms unit joins the party. Mm, they got the blicks on deck too. You better be cool. You better go ahead and be smooth and take this little tea pack. Can I uh, directly behind you? With three units on scene. The left lap into the hospital is the The van's guided down a side road and the suspect doesn't fancy a pursuit today. That's him, that's him. Stop, stop. Quicker than you can say your nick, mate. Dang! Look, you see how quick he handcuffed that man? Or that woman? Look how quick he was off the hip with the cuff onto the wrist. Watch this. Let me make sure I'm not in the way. Hold on. Cause this was I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't never seen it have somebody get handcuffed so quick. He probably pride himself on that. He probably be in the station like, ready, set, draw. You're nicked. <laughs> My bad. Look at this. Look! Is that not amazing? He threw the cuff on in point two seconds. Chantel's got him cuffed. Stop out of here. 
Never, Never. drop this cigarette. I don't know what else in the back, mate. No, no, no. Mate, just come and take a seat in this car. Let's go. This, this, this case is ready for a packet. You got it, don't you? Yeah, yeah. So uh, you're under a suspicion of a dwelling burglary. What in? At Matlock. I don't know Matlock. the address at this time, I'll let you know. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence. Don't mention my question or something, which is later on in court. Anything you do say, maybe gain evidence, you understand? Yeah. Right, buddy. Just pop your foot in there and swing your feet in. What made her want to... the bat, mate, that we need to know about? No, nothing. What made her want to become a police officer from a nurse? I wonder who get paid more. Like, a, she's a nursery nurse? I don't know what that means, but I, I just wonder who's getting the larger check. That's all. Nothing apart from bolt cutters, some other tools, and a couple of needles. Mm. Just They're just going to get rid of the needles in the hospital, and then they're going to drive the van back, and then we'll give it a proper search there. One detained on suspicion of burglary. It certainly beats banging up mannequins. Luckily, because of NPR network, it means that we've literally been out 10 minutes and it's hit the camera. Um, and with help from some colleagues, we've uh, we managed to locate it and get him stopped. So he's, um, as we said earlier, he's, he's wanted for a burglary in Derbyshire. So uh, it looks like a fairly tidy job. The van and suspect are off to Mansfield Nick. He'll be interviewed by Derbyshire detectives. The guy back here as well, mate, under the shuttle. While Kingo and Matt give the vehicle a proper search. There we go. Yeah, the original leg here, mate. Kingo's found the original plates. Oh, legend. It seems the van could have been nicked. You can see where they've attacked it. You've got these fence all marks. Mm. It looks like effectively you just got a screwdriver and a crane bar. I'll get it behind. Start prizing it open brute force. It's been a successful job for the interceptors, thanks in no small part to the Aren't technology at their disposal. Yeah. It's another example of us sharing information and having access to the same system so we can see that he's wanted for jobs on another force. Um, and like I say, because of the AMPR technology, it just means that as soon as he comes into knots, we know he's coming and we can sort of sort out a welcome. You gotta say pause. Pause, officer. He comes into knots. We know he's coming. And we can sort of sort out a welcoming party and get him potted, which is what we've done today. For burglary, disqualified driving, no insurance and number plate offences, Van Man got two years and four months behind bars. Dang. And was disqualified for seven years. Two years, four months, seven years disqualified on a license. Yeah, man. Hey. Hopefully you get clean. Still to come. There's another phone here. Oh, this one's open as well. I just came up. Cup, cup, drink, drop. It's our wall to wall. Not all shifts are wall to wall action. Oh, it's somewhere up here. Big asteroid comes down, <laughs> wipes out, say hands. But Gav Hall and Joe Riley know their day can turn on a sixpence. I bet he's a dealer, I've had him for wits. They've spotted an empty car belonging to an old pal of Gav. Guys, just to um, let you know, there's a golf park that comes back to somebody that I had for a cannabis peewits about two years ago. Bro got two years of knowledge, memories in his head. Like that man could be a, a changed, devoted Christian or or, or 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 whatever religious he decided to give his life to. Like he could be a completely different person. And here you go. There's intel from this year again that he's still. All dealing drugs. Time to call in the troops. Ken, Matt, are you all right to cover that way if he leaves? Yeah, we're on route, mate. Simple. If this car moves off, we should have both ends of the street covered. One of our cars can pick it up and it could be a decent little stop. With the Gulf's escape routes covered, all they need now is the Gulf. <sighs> Go home. That's not it. 
forward. But that is... Hey, there, there he is. There he is. There he is. That vehicle is off, off, off. It's one up. Game on. Are you going for a stop straight away? Or yes. No, we'll go for a stop straight away. The driver looks to have clocked their mark car. He go around. No, he's, he's looking. No, 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 no. But he's seen sense. You all right? Turn that music off and sat for us, pal. <laughs> he's definitely high. He got out music still playing. He's trying to bring attention away from the car. These are all signs that I have learned from the police interceptors of someone who is guilty. You're going to jail, buddy. Proper lad, isn't it, that? And his friends reunited. Jump over here for us, kid. You all right? You know. Intel, you're still dealing cannabis. Who is? That's what the intel says. Like who? Well, I don't know, but I'm going to ask you now. You got any cannabis on you? No, I haven't, mate. Going to get you search on the Misuse of Drugs Act. All right, mate. The suspect claims to have no drugs. How much money is there? I hope he don't. Well, there's a wedge of cash. Keep your hands up and see him, pal, please. Man, just got money. Sergeant Matt and Ken Tinley arrive. You know, you know, in America, like in the UK, like if I get pulled over by the police, God forbid, like, and they'd be like, keep your hands where I can see him. Like, I wouldn't even be intimidated by that statement. You know what I'm saying? It's like almost like, or what? No offense, because they, or what? You know what I'm saying? But out here, unfortunately, they say keep your hands where I can see them. They mean, or I'm going to blick you. <laughs> That's what that mean in America. Look, if your hands disappear one more time, I'm from the blink, 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 blink. Five, and the team soon locate an item of interest. Sorry. Yeah, just a bit of cannabis from the, uh, the door pocket. Judging from the driver, there may be more to come. He's very nervous, mate, I tell you. Shaking and sweating. I'm right up out of there. Gav's a fan of TV's forensic detectives. Hmm. But you won't find him rocking a lab coat. He prefers to get his hands dirty. Sherlock. It's got to be something in here, or it's down his pants. Here we go. Dedicated. Is this the suspect's secret stash? Here we go, what's this? Oh, sweet. There's nothing in the car for him, so what they're doing so long in the car. What you mean? There is, there's plenty. You're going to jail, buddy. You might as well swing your little feet inside the back of the car, you know what I'm saying? Get comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Sweet Tooth is still sweating. Either he's OD'd on opal fruits or something else is making him nervous. Yeah, his phone's loaded. He's left his mobile unlocked. And it seems he's a popular boy. Anything from today? Yeah. Same what? People asking him for Zed. Yeah. All of that panic is over that phone. Yeah. There's another phone here. Tweaked. Oh, this one's... They going to your crib. They definitely going to your address. It's open as well. Yeah. Even this one's loaded, mate. Look, there's loads on here. Just give your hands to them, dude. There's enough to nick him for suspected supply. You're under arrest on suspicion of possession with intent to supply cannabis. That one bag of cannabis in the car. It's probably not the only bag he's got. I dare say when we get to his address, there'll be more there. Now it's just a case of finding where he lives. Gonna find any more? I told them I'm homeless. I'm living out of my car. I'm skint. Oh, when we search your address. Yeah. But bloke's got a cunning plan. Dad, take your own thing, yeah? I'm sleeping in my car. You're sleeping in your car? <laughs> I told you. He said exactly what I would have said. Sleeping in my car. I'm homeless. Yeah, not worth me searching it then. No, it's not worth searching it. Uh, really it's not worth searching his own address. He's living in his car now. He's played his hand and gone all in, but the interceptors are ready to call his bluff. Stick him in that van, yeah? They found a set of keys in the Golf and a clue to which door they'll fit this on dude the mobile. Is the worst liar. Oh, sir. I hope that perhaps there's something on the phone, and when you look at his timeline and on, on his on his Google Maps, the same address keeps uh, flagging up. Were you here? The address is near to where they first spotted his car. 
We don't know if he's living in one of these. We're going to just uh, check. They've also intel that a man known to the police is renting out a room at the property. Mm. Oh, right there, so boy it's in up, in it? Straight opposite, yeah. Like the prince armed with Cinderella's slipper, Gav hopes the house key is a match. Yeah, it fits. It fits. Does this it turn? won't end with he lived happily ever after. Hi, I'm sorry to bother you. We've got stuff in here, and we've got information that he's stuff in here. Just, is he staying in a spare room? He comes on blocks now and then, yes. Right, OK, right. Is he? Is it like a rental agreement, or...? Yeah, 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 he's, he's, he's a big little money on it, and he'll so... Right. Is there anything in here that he shouldn't have? What do you mean? Well, they've basically, they've got an, getting an authority to search on Section 18 a pace. so I'm just asking if there's anything that shouldn't be here, that's all, pal. I can show you the room where, where, where he stands yeah. up. The team's welcomed in. I'll show you the room that he's in. He, 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 yes, mate. But it's not just the suspect's room they'll be searching. You know, because he's got a key for the front door and he's obviously got this room here, we will have to search throughout. It's not long before they sniff something dodgy. Chad. Hello. Stick your head in here. Tell me what you thought, it's going Here? It's my weed. Yeah. Gav's nose strikes again. Ah, beautiful. Ah! Spare room. Four ounces of cannabis. Mm. He was obviously very nervous when we came in, but here we are. Cannabis. So he'll be coming in for possession with intent to supply cannabis as well, and we'll carry on searching the season. Ken breaks the good news. Mate, I'm afraid we've found around four ounces of cannabis in a, in a box or all right, so I'm going to have to arrest you on suspicion of possession of cannabis with intent to supply, all right? In, the search continues to. In your own crib is crazy. You in the house eating a kiwi or whatever he was eating in, in the front. And, and bro just four officers come. It's over. You can't even do nothing. The bad fruit. Old crib going. A few more ounces in this bag. Dang. Two, three, another. Of something that should be legal. Four ounces there. We're up to eight ounces of cannabis so far. Still searching. Eight ounces is over a grand's worth of weed. Jeez. Wow. Get cash. A set of digital scales. And they've got cannabis on them as well. And where there's drugs. Man, it's like rule number two, man. You're not supposed to keep your stuff at the same place you live, where you lay your head. There's often weapons. Quite a selection of samurai swords. He got a shing. I call that a shing. What's all the weapons about? Please tell us. We'll seize that, we'll take that. It's been a good result for the cavalry in this twisted fairy Say tale. Goodbye, buddy. Both suspects have been charged with possession with intent to supply a controlled drug. The suspect of the house was charged with possession of a weapon in private, but faced no further action in court. Uh, yeah, I knew he was. Nah, yeah, he can't get into. Like, I'm in the crib playing 2K, playing FIFA. I will admit now I've drunk, fit, I've drunk uh, 35 milliliter of the whiskey. I love you. Drink driving is one of the biggest dangers on UK roads. Mm. Is that what you've been drinking whilst on the motorway? No, that's what I drank before I set off. Right. With even small quantities of alcohol affecting driving ability. Your driving's awful. You're swerving from lane to lane. I'm not the type to get caught with DW die. You're stopping, you look like they nearly stalled it. I can smell drink on you. How much have you had? I've had two pints. And over 200 people are... Why the car look like it's kind of like nervous? Because he just got into an accident. It's a nervous whip. ...are killed each year by those driving under the influence. So when it comes to dealing with drunks at the wheel, that's a fail. You've blown 93, okay? Three times over, huh? just have zero tolerance. I've done this job for 21 years, and the carnage that I've seen through drink driving... You have to do your job. Oh, yeah. Because if somebody ran your mum over who was drunk, you'd want me to, wouldn't you? It's kicking out time on Friday night. Prime time for drink driving. We are not far from that. 
Jen Els and the team are after a Renault Espace that's apparently failed to stop for officers earlier in the evening. Oh, what was that last ping, sorry? The driver may have given cops the slip, but they've got his reg and 11,000 ANPR cameras. It is possibly closed. Um, there have been hits in Cambridge, but then no hits again until the 17th. They're not in the manufacturer again. It looks like it's a clean vehicle, so it's on fake yeah, plates to try and hide its identity, basically. A suspected cloned car that's apparently failed to stop would be a tidy collar. So they call in nearby units, and it's not long before a dog handler spots the escape. Duffy keeps his distance and guides the team in. So if you're on the A610, up to being Q Island, left at Morrison's and follow it around, you might get in front of me. Oh, which dog she got? She got Galaxy or she got the other one, whatever his name is. Right, that's where we're going. Mm, pushing it to the limit, ain't she? Jen might be a specialist dog handler with a commendation for work with her canine Quantum. Quantum, Quantum, I said Galaxy. Quantum Leap. But she's also an advanced driver. And she's with Duffy in no time. It's off, off. It's remaining left hand lane. It's straight on to Church Street. We will stay out of the way because Duffy's got the... I used to live on a black car church. ...lead on this, so... I am in a marked car, but he's not particularly reactive to me. He's still doing 30. The driver apparently failed to stop earlier tonight, but seems oblivious to the cop car convoy behind him. He's gone around about arse awesome that way. He's going to be a drink driver, maybe. Still... Uh, Dropping between 30 and 40 mile an hour, it's doing nothing too outrageous. However, he's got a sudden need for speed. Up to uh, 85, about to enter the 50s. I don't expect him to slow down for it. And they now join a dual carriageway. He is now accelerating up to uh, 100. Two other units, including an unmarked, join proceedings via a slip road. The plan to perform a TPAC. Just hit the left. Oh, yeah. The driver randomly slows and they spot their window. There'll be no escape this time. Just past IKEA, boxed in like a flat pack. <laughs> Hey, good one, narrator. <laughs> quantum, chill, quantum, quantum. Quantum's keen to play fetch. Why ain't he locked up? But the tinny toting passenger is in no state to run. Get out the car! And the driver's in an even worse state. Out the car. Get here. Face that. Put your hands behind your back. Yeah, he wasn't running on foot, no. Mm -mm. How? Put your hands behind your back. Quant That's Santa Claus. Don't talk to Santa like that. You getting cold for 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 Christmas. Tim keeps an eye on them. Watch him! Watch him! Watch him! Good lad. Good lad. As Paul Charlesworth does the honors. You're under arrest for failing to stop from dangerous driving. You don't have to stop him, but it may on the fence. Do not mention questions for future later on. You didn't do it. Anything you do, see me giving evidence. You're lucky we didn't smash the window. Follow me for a second, please. Any more? Just be ready to smash a window. I'm telling y'all, they be on it, on it, smash. Well, laid back, and he'd be asleep. Three, two, one, go. He's just an idiot. I mean, he's clearly drunk, but he's just, I mean, oblivious to it all. Just doesn't seem to have a care in the world. So. Uh, it just strikes me as an absolute idiot, to be fair. Breath test him in a minute. He'll blow. He was clothed as soaking with beer. There's cans of beer in the car. He stinks of it. His car is like a pub on wheels. I've got plenty of reasons to think you've had a drink because you stink of it. Mm. He can fit a whole 30 case in there. That's tough. 
your beer in your coat pocket and all sorts. And you've also committed a road traffic offence, which gives me the power to request a specimen of breath. All right. Have you had anything to eat or drink in the last 20 minutes? Yeah, I've had a drink, yeah. What did you have? Uh, a can of my mate. Who? Yeah, a can of fuel, mate. Yeah. What was that? About 10 minutes ago. His blood alcohol levels could still be rising. Y'all need to go ahead and give him a full workup. You know what I'm saying? Blood pressure, heart rate. You know what I'm saying? Do go ahead. Everything. I'm sure it's all high off the meter. No offense, you know. I'm a recovering big person myself, so I can speak on that. If you skinny, you can't speak on that. So if y'all talking in a live about a dude and you and you and you weigh 150 pounds, don't talk. Cause that's offensive. Wakey wakey. <laughs> I ain't fell asleep. Deep deep breath. Hey. Steady blow to this till it's over. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Y'all need to drug test him too. Swipe him, swipe his inner cheek. Kick. The pupils was dilated. And surprise, surprise. Four times over. Alright, fail, we've been 66. Oh, that's not. That's almost twice the drink driving limit. Beggar's belief that it is driving without the child calling the system. All he has to do is lose grip of the wheel. The lightweight. Head on into another vehicle at 110 mile an hour. Combined speed of, what is it, 50, 160. It's game over, isn't it? Being boozed up isn't the only issue. Uh, He's disqualified driver as well, I'm just mm. saying. Oh, I'll the rest of the drive whilst disqualified from driving without insurance. I'm talking about, he trying to get to the North Pole. He can't, you know what I'm saying? Where's Rudolph? That's that's the only one I know. Rudolph the Red Nut. Rudolph. Where is Rudolph and the rest of them? Prancer. This is one menace they're delighted to get off the roads. Sleepyhead pleaded guilty to dangerous driving and driving above the alcohol limit while disqualified and uninsured. He was banned from driving for a further three years and put behind bars for 14 months. Mm, dang, he got a year? I know they treated him good. They was trying to, you know what I'm saying? Telling their kids in there, send their wish list. In. Oh, my bad. No further action was taken for the suspected cloned plates. Coming up. The map. It's estimated 5% of British adults have shoplifted. A pocket there, dropped you know into a skirt underneath. You can see also the stolen goods underneath the long skirt. Dang. There are a staggering 1,000 shoplifting offences committed every day in the UK, with over half of these going unpunished. I feel like that's not a very smart place to keep anything by a door. Certainly within our force area, uh, and I've no doubt across still with UK shoplifting is still uh, massive, really. Tends to be people funding the habit that we come across. Y'all ever see them videos where they try to uh, steal something and, the, and they lock the door from behind wherever they stand in the employee? Them be funny. Uh, so they'll nick, um, if it's food stuff or drink stuff, it, it's, uh, you know, they, steaks and bacon and the like stuff that they can sell on and then obviously use their the proceeds to to feed what unfortunate habit they've uh, they've got what color is that course now? It's silver, silver yeah it's saturday afternoon that's what we've seen it by now on John Lee and Paul Macca McClintock's shopping list is a vehicle that's pinged an ANPR camera. The occupants inside are a pair of well-known shoplifters. No question, the drive through. But there's better look outside the M&S. There it is. She's driving. Yeah. Somebody sent my daughter these too. 
from MS. Salute to whoever sent this. Oh, I know who sent this. Salute to her, man. Hey, stop playing with me. Brake light out. Spin out, so I don't. Macca's got a hunch. Yeah, yeah. He's probably just doing a shop theft now in Mark Suspensers. And by the looks of it, he's spot on. What's happening? Is that him? That's, yeah, that's... Imagine getting caught red-handed. Like, you're not a good thief. Just go ahead and retire. Go ahead and get you a 9-to-5. Ain't nothing wrong with a 9-to-5. Is he getting... Let's see what they're saying. Right. Yeah, are you watching him? Yeah. He's done what? Shoplifted. Is he getting in? Him. He's done what? Bro, you know what you... <laughs> My bad. All right, man. So now we gonna play dumb like you don't know what he's... Like... He's done what? Shoplifted. Is he getting in that car? <laughs> Into the car park. The suspects legged it with a load of steaks. Buddy just trying to eat. It's narrow. He's not coming here. And the boys are desperate to meet him. Is there anybody uh, near Bridgeford? A shop worker in hot pursuit. Oh, there's one. There's brother. Makes way for the pros. Stay here. Stay here. Get out. Oh, yo, low all that. What are you doing? This is not just shoplifting. Hey. Hey. What that Wagyu A5? He got a little pizza, half cheese, pepperoni. Bro, he's trying to eat. Oh, he got a debit card. And you got a card. What hey, you want? Hey, hey, hey. Behind your back. You're under arrest for shop theft. This is M&S shoplifting. What? Yeah, it's m &S. It's posh in there, right? We'll do it. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Get down on the floor. Stop messing about. What are you doing? On Stop messing about. Hey. Put your hands behind your back. This meat. You're clearly shoplifting, boy. Who walks out the grocery store with just meat in their hands? Pause. With just several meats in their hands, no bag. These heads' hands aren't where they belong. Sort. Right, bring your knees up. Sit up. Sit on the curb. Hey, There's six packets of steak and, in the interests of a balanced diet, a pizza. <laughs> Can I have uh, some officers to us, please, at uh, Bridgeford? Backup arrives. Right, switch engine. But it's not for the cops, it's the Silver Corsa. Switch engine off. Stop. That's her man. She's stupid. She should have can't she should have lived to fight another day. Right. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Right. He's with you, isn't he? No. Yes, he is. Right. He's not with me. Right. Go and grab a seat in the back of our car. While Macca manages the meat snatcher. What are you doing? <laughs> the meat snatcher is crazy. Oh my god. Meat snatching 101. <laughs> How to get caught snatching meat. <laughs> hey. Oh, man. Ooh, I ain't even mad at bro, though. He trying to eat. He all of it. John handles Miss Corsa. She look like she could possibly be real decent. Chicago, and, Chicago decent means good. She look like she could look real decent. If I look in our cameras and he's not going to be in your car? No. She dumb for even sliding that way, though. She should have went ahead and went home. And he bogus for having this girl out there on these missions like this. Duffy arrives to lend a hand. Last time you had a full inflatable kayak, didn't you, from Decathlon? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it seems Mr. Meat is quite the thief about town. Mr. Meat? Thank you. Right, mate, you also wanted for theft at Sainsbury's um, on the 21st of this month. All right, so you also under arrest for that one. You don't have to say anything about me. I'm just going to mention my questions to me later on in court. Anything you do say, maybe give me evidence. All right, buddy. And there's a breach of court order outstanding as well. It's a balancing act for Duffy. Look at that, eh? 
As well, they can't put that meat back on the shelf. M and S, they might as well get that. Let them have it. And Maca conduct a search. We want you to stand up, and then I'm going to do a quick search on you to make yeah, sure you've got nothing else in your pockets. I've got something in that one. Yeah, what is it? Hey, a pipe. You got any pins on you? Is there anything in it? Right, mate. Mate, carry on. I'm just going to put the cuffs behind your back, and it's going to hurt again, isn't it? There's nothing else on the suspect. And while the lady's free to go, he's got a date with the Nick. You got she could possibly be a nitty. That's crazy, because she, she looked like she could possibly be decent. A decent looking nitty. The COVID symptoms are like that. Mm. You had it in the past. Yeah, I've got it. You got Have you? Yeah. You think you've got it? Anyone with suspected COVID gets to make their own special entrance. The COVID door. But his symptoms don't appear too bad. What are you doing? Sometimes they don't be. Hey? Well, you're not. You've got you're not here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't smoke if you've got COVID. It's bad for you. And so is shoplifting. Yeah. Just in that cell there, buddy. Who is that, Jordan? Meat Thief was found guilty of shop theft bad, and Jordan. fined £40. He got a four-week prison term suspended for 12 months. Purloin sirloin again, and his rump is cooked. <laughs> Mr. Meat. Six sirloin steaks worth 100 quid, and then a three-quid pizza for his, uh, for his kids. So it's, it's not like he's gone in to nick a meal because he's hungry. He's gone in to nick a load of steaks that he can sell to fund his drug habit, and that's the sad thing about it. All right, man, Mr. Meat, how to, how to, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even gonna do it. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. Enjoy y'all weekend. I'll be here, of course, but you know, maybe y'all won't watch any of the videos. Sad, sad times.